be your own bank as soon as possible because Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, yes, a Bitcoin original. Um, in today's video, short but powerful, I didn't do a video yesterday on Friday, I will do one now Saturday, because I need to do live yesterday for the VIPs and AMA because of something new that is like coming up in our community, but I will talk you, to you about that later guys. But in today's video, jumping into the news because something is happening to the banks and that will make you think twice of being part of the banking system. Of course, also looking into the Bitcoin charts, I have three amazing charts I haven't shown you ever before. These charts are beautiful and amazing to see at this moment. And of course, an inspiration quote at the end guys. Now let's quickly jump into the first part of the video. And for all the VIPs that are watching this video, please go to the Telegram group. There is some huge news that you need to see now. Why did I open the video with Be Your Own Bank, guys? Because what happened yesterday? A nationwide outage for the Bank of America. Thousands of people nationwide, all over America, saw a zero balance on their account. The most funny part was the zero balance on their account, yeah, it hit all their money, but on the other hand, all the debts were still there. That is exactly, figuratively speaking, what the banks does to your fiat currency. It is killing your purchasing power tremendously. It showed you the real value of the US dollar. It wasn't one dollar anymore, it was zero dollar by now. To be very clear, it was one dollar in 1913, it's 0.03 dollar cents now today in 2024. And maybe the system just couldn't handle all the fraud and inflation and, de and decreasing of your purchasing power anymore. And it just showed you the true value. The true value of your account is zero if you compare it to a couple of years ago. Aside of that, that the true value of your dollar and euro went to shit, your purchasing power is like one tenth or one hundredth of like a couple of years ago. Aside of that, that also shows that the banks are not as advanced with their technology as the Bitcoin blockchain is. The Bitcoin blockchain has never shown any outage. And it also shows you the difference between the Bitcoin blockchain and many other blockchains. The Bitcoin blockchain, never an outage. Ethereum did already have an outage. Solana did already have an outage. Many others already had outages. Bitcoin, zero outages since its existence. Up and running 24-7, seven days a week, 30 or 31 days a month, 52 weeks a year. Always up and running. There is no bank that can compete with this very intelligent, powerful, accessible for everyone, monetary policy, Bitcoin. They just can't. Why can't they? Because they are printing money out of thin air, putting it into the economy, probably to their friends, their rich friends, and they will distribute it to their mid-class friends, and the mid-class friends will distribute it to the poor friends, and sometimes they do donations to the really uh, poor friends. So that is how it works. And that banking system has been printing so much money in the last decades that it is about to collapse. You can't keep printing money because then the value of the money is decreasing every time a little bit more by war. And I know a lot of people can handle a lot of shit in their lives. But if their purchasing power is going even lower and they won't be able to buy like three items of grocery with $100, then there will be riots because people will never accept that because their salaries is not increasing as much as the purchasing power is decreasing. So even if they need to do a second job or a third job or a fourth job, to be able to afford the same lifestyle that they were having for the decrease of their purchasing power before all those inflation numbers, they will drive themselves crazy and they will never accept that. Two jobs may be still acceptable, but there is no one that can handle three jobs just because those printers 
burn the shitload of money out of thin air and just throw it to their rich friends so they can do what the fuck they want with it and you become poorer and poorer and poorer. At least it doesn't show because normally the numbers on your bank account always show but now finally the Bank of America showed the true value of your bank account. <laughs> the true value is zero. And if it is not zero today, it will be zero in the near future. Understand this. That is why one of the slogans for Bitcoin is be your own bank. Because Bitcoin gives you the possibility to do everything that the banks also do. But now you can do it yourself. You don't need to trust a centralized entity organization anymore to handle your funds. That's risky. And again, it is making your purchasing power disappear like a magic trick. Up in smoke. If you are your own bank, you are in control of your own funds. You can use your capital to have your capital work for you. Not let your capital work for the banks and then make profit of it while you become poorer. No, when you are your own bank, when you are in Bitcoin, your capital is working for you and nobody is able to stop it or influence it. Because every four years, the Bitcoin price will be higher and higher and higher. And that means you will be able to buy more and more and more. In other words, your purchasing power is going up and up and up. And sometimes in between those four years, bottoms and tops, ah, we go up and down. And sometimes you can buy more and sometimes you can buy less and more and less. That's the volatile part. But at least if your saving part for the long term is in Bitcoin, that will only grow. We are at the moment at the Bitcoin price of 62,000 US dollar. This is going easily to 1 million to 10 million US dollar in the next 20 to 30 years. That is how you protect your capital against inflation. That is how you protect your capital against the decrease of your purchasing power. That is how you leave behind generational wealth for your children and the next generations. Not by giving your money to those banks that sometimes show the real value. Like yesterday, the Bank of America, zero. It also shows the possibility for them to just make your account disappear to zero or to freeze your account if you don't do what they want you to do. And that is the most important thing about Bitcoin, freedom. Nobody can force you anymore to do what they want you to do. They can't freeze my Bitcoins. They can't take my Bitcoins. At least not without violence. And that's the opposite for banks. If you don't pay your fine, we will freeze your bank account. If you don't pay your mortgage, we will freeze your bank account. If you don't do this, we will freeze your bank account. If you don't do uh, that mask, we will freeze your bank account. If you don't do anything, bam, there, we will freeze your bank account. That is the future if you believe in bank accounts. They can't do that to your Bitcoins because they don't even know probably that you own Bitcoin. And secondly, they can't touch them. It's impossible. So that is why we always say, be your own bank. Don't believe in no centralized entities anymore. That is the past. Start to believe in the future. I tell the same to my kids. I am not educating and preparing my kids for the past. I am educating and preparing my kids for the future. And you should be educating yourself also not about the past, but about the future. And then lead by example for your children. Show them that a bank account is not necessary anymore. You can be an all-in Bitcoiner, just like we are as a family. And yes, that's me, that's my wife, that's three daughters and a dog. And by now also a small turtle. Yes, I will show you a video about the turtle very soon. We called him Michael Angelo. Yeah, they call him Mikey, but it's after one of the uh, Ninja Turtles. So that's the news for the day, guys. Then the second news item is that there is something really special built for the current VIPs and for the soon to become VIPs. You, for example. But the current VIPs are getting the first uh, opportunity to step into this new thing. I can't say what it is yet, but it's a very cool, community-driven, educational platform with a shitload of fun building in, with a really cool team behind it. And yes, there will also be a token backing that whole community. I can't say more yet. 
For the VAPs watching, you already know what I'm talking about. For the VAPs that don't know what I'm talking about, please go to the Telegram group as soon as possible to see what is cooking. There is already a video, there is already a lot of text, there is already a lot of explanation on what is happening to the VAP groups, etc. But please watch that as soon as possible. For all the other people that want to become a VAP, wait with buying the traditional package because something new is coming. Please wait, don't buy the package this weekend. We will come with something new on Monday. I will probably start to talk public about this to all of you. So you can see what we are building and how we are gonna to contribute to the mass adoption of crypto and much other things. This project wants to make crypto simple to everyone out there and I'm gonna fully back it. Current VAPs, please go to Telegram. If you want to become a VAP, please wait for a couple of days with signing up because there will be an awesome new opportunity for you guys there. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts to see what is happening to Bitcoin. And yes, I moved my camera position because the sun was shining really brightly in my face. Yes, I'm in Thailand. The sun is shining, the weather is hot. You know, that makes you want to move your... That one. Now, uh, please, let's, now let's jump into the charts quickly to see what is happening to Bitcoin today and what I expect for this weekend and also for the next week. The first chart for today, guys, is of course, again, the four hour chart. I just love the four hour chart because it really shows you the short term where we are heading. Um, as you can see, I was right again. We would bounce uh, or fall back all the way to the 60, 61K level. If you watch my latest videos, like two, three days ago, I told you we will probably fall to 61K. It was when we were here, the yellow line, when we broke it, I thought you, yes, that is the next level of support. And uh, now again, we are going up slowly. Uh, the first resistance is this green line. We broke it. We are finding and retesting it. And then the next resistance is going to be 63,200. That is the level that we need to break this volume over there uh, to get up and move into 65 areas again. Of course, there's always the possibility if we are like um, finding resistance too strong over here, we could fall even further to 57 before we go up, guys. This is just how Bitcoin moves in the short term. If you're a trader, yes, you should worry about all these moves. If you're an investor, uh, just zoom out and enjoy this beautiful Bitcoin bull market and dollar cost average whenever we dip like this, guys. Um, if we look at the five-day chart, we uh, use the Gaussian channel. You see we are still in it. We tried to get out. We were bam, downwards again. And now we need to go up again to the level of 64-ish, 64,000 US dollar to be escaping that Gaussian channel. So we need to really fight hard to break 64K to become more bullish. And yes, also that's five-day chart, so that's short-term views. If you look at the bigger picture to this five-day chart, then every time, I will repeat it again, that we went from red on the bottom of the MACD to green, red bars to green bars. This moment was a 55K move, not percentage, 55,000 US dollar move. Here from red to green, 37,000 US dollar move. From red to green, a 7,000 US dollar move. This was in the bear market, even in the bear market, from red to green, a 7K move. Over there, from red to green, a 20K move. Over here, from red to green, a 30K move. And now again, we are turning from red to green. What kind of move do you expect? Just look here. The first three, four, five bars were really small bars, and then bam, 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 explosive bars. Every time, it starts with a couple of small bars, just like we have small bars over there, little bars. These are gonna be big. Like, if you look at average, 55, 90, 97, 120, 150 divided by five is a 30K move around an average, guys. A 30K move could be happening soon. That would bring us to 90K, guys. That's why the question mark is there. Where will we go? Now, I have some more interesting charts for you guys lined up. Like I said, charts I have never shown you before. This one is, of course, uh, also supporting my news item just to show you again how less value now you have left. The dollar that was here in December 1913 was worth $1. You know, there was the ban on private gold holdings, you know, 1933. Then we had the convertibility of gold to USD. And all that time, your purchasing power decreased decreased to now 0.03 cents in 2023 and I think even less, maybe 0.02 cents now in December 2024. That is what 
the US dollar has done to yourself. Just again, to make sure you understood the news item. From $1 purchasing power to 0.03 cents purchasing power. And I find all of these images now on the website of BlackRock. So it's not like a random website. It's one of the biggest institution websites, institutional investor websites that are now sharing these images on their website. Also this one, even comparing the US treasuries to gold, to Bitcoin. That's why they call it a global monetary alternative, a store of value. Bitcoin is the gold of the 21st century. Supply, unfixed when it comes to treasuries. Semi-fixed when it comes to gold. Bitcoin has a fixed supply. The treasuries have a low volatility. Gold medium, Bitcoin has a high volatility, short term but long term only moving up. Medium, long and short when it comes to track records, of course Bitcoin is the youngest out there. But gold needed to start somewhere as well and it became a long term track record. Bitcoin will become a long term track record as well. The governance, very important, US Treasury centralized. Gold decentralized, I agree with that. And Bitcoin even more decentralized. Why do I say even more decentralized? Because gold is physical and Bitcoin is digital. It's way more easy to mine something digital instead of something physical and that is why it's more accessible for more people out there. That's why I say Bitcoin is even more decentralized. Cost to move, treasury is low, gold high, Bitcoin low. Cost to store, low for treasuries, high for gold, low for Bitcoin. If we now look at this, the treasuries have a 25 trillion market cap. Gold has a 14 trillion market cap. These all exist already for decades. Bitcoin already has a 1.3 trillion market cap. We only exist since 2009. That's the big difference. And if you can't believe that this will grow bigger than this or this, then you should not be buying Bitcoin for the long term. Then you should only be trading Bitcoin. I believe Bitcoin will easily surpass 14 trillion market cap and even the 25 trillion market cap very soon as, as it's the best performing asset digital gold that you can also spend worldwide. It's something completely new, just like the internet was new, just like the internet opened up information to everyone, Bitcoin is now opening up money to everyone. Please understand this. This is going to be really big. Now, then we have this chart. This chart shows you that our YouTube views are the main influencers. I'm not even in between of those, probably. Yes, I don't understand why, because I think I'm the best. <laughs> but probably all YouTubers think that they are the best. No, I'm not the best, guys. I'm just doing my best. That's a huge difference. Um, and I try to become a bigger channel. And, but I'm happy with where I am at the moment. But you can see that the moment not many people are watching our videos. Not many people. This is the bull market. 2021, January, July till January 2022, that was the whole bull bear market start. That is when people got active. In the bear market, people were not active. I was still there to make videos every day for you to get you active. Now people are medium active. But it's also a sign we are far away from the bull market top because that is when retail starts to be interested in Bitcoin again and when our views all go up. Then we have this chart, guys. On this chart, you can see how Bitcoin every time moved when we touched, for example, that blue line. And that blue line is the 50 weekly moving average. I shared it already in my video two days ago, guys. And this is also someone on Twitter that is also sharing that same chart. Look. Here we touched the blue line in October 2016. That was after that first massive run. We touched that, we retested it, and then bam, we flew up. Now, October 2020, we came close to the blue line. We had that first run with a peak of 14K, COVID crash, bam, we came above the line again. We tried to retest that line, and bam, we flew up after that. Now again, from the bottom, we went up to this beautiful area here of 74,000 US dollar, we are revisiting the blue line. I expect this move to happen very soon. 
I don't expect it to end in the beginning of 2025. I expect it will go a little bit less steep to the end of 2025. So somewhere in September, like last quarter, 2025. I don't expect it to go to 230, but to 160,000 US dollar. But a beautiful chart that shows you that whenever we come close in October in a bull market, because that's what you need to understand, 2016 bull market, 2020, four years later, bull market, now 2024, four years later, October, bull market. Every time we do the same move. Another amazing chart that I've never shown you before. This chart uh, I found on Twitter as well. It's a beautiful chart that shows you the cycles of Bitcoin. So it shows you the halving cycles and how that goes into these waves. Now, every time here on the bottom, you can see these green dots, the yellow dots, the purple dot, and the blue dot, and then again the red dot. Now, just compare them to the moves in Bitcoin. These cycles, every time, take around the same amount of time. So we're talking about 2012 to 2016, 2020, 2024, 2028. Every time we move like this. At the moment, we are here at this part of the cycle. We just had that purple dot. We still need to go to the blue and then to the red part. And that red part normally should happen, as you can see here, in November-ish 2025. That's why I always say the last quarter of 2025 is where we see the top. Because if you look closely to the chart, the top is every time when we see this red dot over there. That was the ultimate top. Over there. That was the ultimate top. Over there. That was the ultimate top. So this is the moment you need to take your profits. That's why it's red. Stop. You need to sell. The time you need to buy is this green dot. Here, November, beautifully in 2014. There, November, beautifully in 2018. There, November, beautiful in 2022. And here, November, beautifully it will be in 2026. That is when you buy again. That is the game that we as a family have been playing now for three cycles. That is how we multiplied our capital. Because we zoom out, we don't zoom in. We look at this cycle, at this bigger, bigger picture. And that's what you can do as well. You can still step into Bitcoin now, take that full bull market all the way to the red dot, so here, up, then sell again your portfolio into USDT stable coins, not US dollars or fiat shit coins, just stable coins so you can easily switch back in November 2026 when the bear market bottom will be. And if you don't believe it by then, then you can still wait till the yellow area eh, that you have the confirmation of a new bull market and then again see here again how beautiful you made profits already and how big your profits are going to be all the way um, again in November somewhere. 2029 guys that's how it works how simple is this please share this video with as much as possible people so they understand that they should be doing this you should not be zooming in into these minute charts and it should be zooming out into this huge charts for your cycle charts for all those people that love altcoins, I have a chart today as well um, because people ask me, Didi, what do you think about altcoins? Yes, I, I buy some altcoins, I accumulate them to you know, make profits and uh, to buy more bitcoins. That's my only goal. Look, at the moment, we can see a gravestone doji on the one monthly chart in Bitcoin dominance. This is not the Bitcoin price, this is the market cap Bitcoin dominance. So we are at 55 to 60%. I think we are at 57% exactly. And we see a gravestone doji. If that stays like this, it will mean the Bitcoin dominance will probably drop to this area here of around 38 to 40%, which means the altcoin dominance will go up, which means the altcoins will start to rise in price. We are, at a, we are now in a pattern we call a falling wedge. And then the Bitcoin dominance will become bigger again. And that's also when the Bitcoin price will start to outperform the altcoins again. So if you want to play this risky play, then do understand the difference between Bitcoin dominance high and Bitcoin dominance low. You should be buying the alts when the Bitcoin dominance is high because it's when the altcoin prices are low. And then when the Bitcoin dominance drops, that's when you sell your altcoins to buy more Bitcoins because then the Bitcoin will go up again. 
that's how it works if you want to be a swing trader or altcoin trader or make more profits with your altcoins to buy more bitcoins interesting chart and also my last chart for the day guys let's jump into the next part i hope you really enjoyed those charts guys yes short term again amazing times to be trading if you're not trading yourself then please use one of our products you can use the indicator setup to help you with trading but you need to become a vip or you need to or you can sign up to our bot which is making 3.5 percent you will find everything on the website thebitcoinfamily.com and it will lead you to our old website at the moment yolofamilytravel.com because that was the first website that we started with we are going to rebuild the domain name and etc very soon uh, but it will take a little bit of time but check it on the website all the products there that's the only products we sell again be aware of scammers we will never ask you to send us money never ever ever only the products on our websites that's how you can pay them you can pay them directly through crypto through usd to euro through all of those possibilities but on our website never directly to us only when we do a seed raise or something like that that is when we will ask you but then you need to fill a form etc that's connected to our websites so please be aware of that scammers are trying to contact you to send them money we will never do that now that was, so that's a short term but the long term guys the long term looks so beautiful for bitcoin i can't make it more beautiful than that it is just amazing times to be alive in bitcoin whatever news there is Whatever adoption there is, the Bitcoin cycle will move like it always has been moving. And that means we still have 12 months in this bull market. It will take at least till the next year, September, October, november -ish, to reach a real bull market top. And if we peak a little bit earlier, is a possibility. But in my opinion, it will take another 12 months, like always, around 16 to 17 months after the halving. Just calculate the halving was in April, plus 70 months where you will arrive. I can tell you, but you need to start thinking for yourself. I hope you really understood those charts. If you didn't understand those charts, please let me know as well. Maybe join the free Telegram group. On that free Telegram group, we talk a lot about this as well. Also in Dutch, educational value. Now, let me know down below what you think about these charts and let's move on to the next part in this video. The inspirational quote for today, guys, is not really a quote. It's something that I experienced in the last couple of years. I think it's a very important lesson that I can share with all of you out there. And the lesson is very simple. You need to learn from your mistakes, stand up and move on. That's the only thing you need to do. Yes, life will not always be fair. Yes, all the things you try out in life will also not always succeed but at least it was another lesson learned and maybe that lesson learned hit you down to the floor the first step you need to take is stand up and then the second step is move on it's simple as that you can't change the past you can only live in this moment and you can only manifest a beautiful future and it all starts with getting up from that bottom and start moving forward. Forget what happened. And that also brings me to my story. Because in the last couple of years, I have been trying a lot of projects. And some of them succeeded and some of them didn't succeed. Some of them I was hacked. Some of them I was scammed. Some of them I was stabbed in my back by my best partners. I experienced all of that in this crypto industry. I was hacked. I was scammed. I was stabbed, even like 10 times stabbed. And yes, it put me down for a short time. But I always realized, that's the past. I can't change it. Let's drop it. Let's live today, enjoy today, enjoy that I'm still alive, enjoy my family, my children, everything else, and move on. And that's exactly what I'm doing now. Because also when it comes to my community, the Bitcoin family community, I did make some mistakes. I tried and I didn't succeed. And then the second time that I tried, I didn't succeed as well. And why? Because I didn't trust to have a team anymore. I wanted to do everything myself. Because the first time I was stabbed so many times in my back by my team members, I couldn't move on. I really need to crawl out of that deep, deep, deep dip. And then when I came up, I decided, no, 
I will never depend anymore on team members. I lost the trust in working with a team. And that is when I started to do everything by myself. Start a new VIP group, start all the new tr indicators, all the things that they stole from me. I needed to do everything back. I tried it and now I realized a couple of weeks ago, this is too much. I am doing so much already aside of investing, YouTubing, educating, one-to-one -one calls, advisory roles, traveling, meetups. I still want to create a perfect VIP group and I'm, not a, and I'm just not able to do it by myself. So I shifted my mindset again and I decided to lose the fear of trust. I started to trust a new group of team members that have been with us for a very long time and with that group we are building something really, really, really cool for all of you that want to become part of something really unique. A real educational platform with value. And it's going to be community driven. Of course it will start with a small group, but in the end there will be proposal and voting mechanism built in. A DAO for example. It's going to be really cool because I'm not going to do this by myself. We already have like 16 members that are working really hard every day. There's going to be new Telegram groups. There's going to be new VIP groups. There's going to be a new educational platform. There's going to be a shitload of new things, all packaged in a really cool format. I can't say more about this yet, but I will very soon in the next week start to share more about this. But it also showed me again that I needed to look in the mirror. Yes, I do my inspirational quotes, and yes, I truly mean them, and yes, and most of those quotes are based on my experience in the first 46 years of my life. But this was the last thing I needed to get solved. I needed to get out of my system. Because if there is one thing in my life that I will always do is that if I promise something, I want to make sure I will keep my promise. I will say what I do and I will do what I say. And maybe it will take some time because I'm unstructured as hell, but at the end, I will deliver what I should have been delivered. And to everyone that ever paid any VIP package, indicator package, whatever, you will all get access to this new opportunity. You need to go to the VIP group as soon as possible to read everything because before you know it, I will make it public to the public and then it could go really fast. You still have the first chance to join this new concept to become one of the pillars that's going to build this new concept out to something really big. Something really big that will end with a BAM! Guys, that was everything for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the tips, about the news? And yes, what do you think about the new plans? Let me know down below. I wish you an amazing Saturday. And soon I will do again a live AMA. I can't do it now because I know myself, if I do a live AMA now, this weekend, I will probably talk about the project all the time because I, I'm just too excited about it. And I, I can't hide it from you guys. I just always want to be honest. So I just prefer to not do live AMAs this weekend because I will do what I'm not supposed to do to disclose all the plans already. Maybe I disclose already too much. So I'm not going to do live AMAs this weekend. That's why I did a video today. And maybe we'll do also a live AMA tomorrow again for the VAPs to educate them a, bit, a little bit more about the future plans. But that was it for today, guys. I wish you an amazing weekend. Um, I'm going to have an amazing weekend as well. I'm going to zoom out, look at that bigger picture of Bitcoin, let my capital work. And yes, I'm going to zoom in at life. Enjoy this amazing day here in my amazing house in Thailand with my amazing views, guys. It's beautiful to be back in Thailand. I love Thailand. Thank you for watching. I see you tomorrow again. Bam.